What's up, it's me, Jason T. Pick again for another review. This time I'm looking at it from Bandai Japan, SH Figure Arts, Kamen Rider, Amazon! And let's take a look at the head sculpt here. It's very, very nice. Very highly detailed. You can see just everything in here is just etched in. Make sure of the orange pattern with the green. Very cool. It's got the little angular fish, little antenna in the front. Very cool. And it is translucent plastic in the tip. Very nice. And he's got the compound bug eyes, which is very cool. And overall, it's got a very nice, it's just overall very nice mixture of a lizard fish type of look. And it just looks really awesome. He also has a pretty snazzy scarf. It's pretty long, very nice, and very white. He is a very proper man. And you have his chest design, very nicely painted. It's got a mixture of the yellow with orange mixed in. Nice little abs here. It's got a little bit of three spot paint blemishes, but it's all pretty, pretty nice. And then you have his upper arm, which as you can see, he's got his amulet here. Very nice looking, very nicely detailed. And again, more of the mixture of the nice orange and green outlining, etched, detailed in, very cool. And then you have his lower arm, and you can see his glove that reaches all the way up here. I really like the way it looks. It looks like it's, you know, how a glove would look if you pull it all the way up. Very nice. You can see it's nice uh, bladed here. Very nice. And the hands he comes with for the fist. Very nice. Some nice nails too. And then you have his belt buckle. It's pretty crazy, but it's very nice. You can see nice orange, very nice white plastic, and very shiny, shiny red eyes. And the belt around it pretty cool and then his legs again still with that nice orange and green detail and very cool and then you have the legs you got his boots again have the spikes going on in the back and it just looks very impressive again they just look like actual leather boots and just gonna look in the back view just to see more of that detail just goes all the way down and you can see he's got these fins popping out as well very nice looking now Amazon here his head can turn all the way around, can go down, can go up, side to side, and his mouth can open. Look at that. Look at that action. His arms, see he's got this joint that can go all the way around like that. Pretty cool. His arms can go out that far, can double elbow joint, can turn all the way around, and the wrists can turn all the way around. Bend in and out, forward and back, depending on where the joint is. And for his torso, his pecs can move around, as you can see. His upper part of his torso can turn side to side, go in and out. And his waist can also move side to side a bit and move forward and back. Pretty cool. His legs, when you pull the joint down up to that point, he can go forward and back. Can go out to that far. He's got a double knee joint. You can actually twist above the hip right there. His feet can go forward and back. Tilt a bit, not much, but he can definitely get an ankle pivot going. And his toes can also bend as well. And also his scarf can also, it's on the ball joints, so he can move anywhere you want with it. As he is a SH figure art figure, he does come with a plethora of accessories. Now besides the two fists he comes with, he comes with five other hands. Some splayed uh, grappling type hands. These may look like fists, but as you can see, they do have a hole in the fists. And we have another splayed hand, but it's a different variation. His thumb is kind of tucked in. And this is for a slashing attack. And he does come with a... Uh, Another variation of his arm amulet. He comes with a, a bit more of a dynamic flowing scarf. He comes with another accessory for his belt buckle. This in the show can detach from the buckle as you can see. And we'll get into that again in a few moments. And like I said with that one uh, slashing attack. Well this is the, the effects piece of that hand. There's two because it actually closes. As you could probably see he's got two hand indentations. So... Without further ado, let's get into some action poses with the various accessory pieces. So overall, 
Kamen Rider Amazon from the SH Figuarts line is a pretty awesome figure, I'm not gonna lie. He's very highly detailed, <laughs> very articulated, you know, for a Figuart figure. He comes with a lot of accessories and he's just an overall great toy. So I definitely recommend picking him up. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. I am Jay Asati with Bandai Japan, SH Figuarts Kamen Rider Amazon! And I'll talk to you all later.